Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Plant Abundance here with my wife Alice. We're in the kitchen. Alice has prepared us some lunch today. You want to tell us a little bit about what you made, honey? Uh, I cooked pinola. That and looks good. And pinola is supposed to be chayote, honey, but we have a lot of opo, so the alternative of pinola is opo. What is opo? Tell the people. Opo is calabas gourd. Mm -hmm. Then you want to see? Yeah, it's show us the one that you harvested today. I harvested and it's so big. So if you don't have chayote, the alternative is calabas gourd, opo. Nice. So even just one of those gourds can prepare a whole meal for several people. Yes. We only used half of that one. We've got so many more growing outside. So what else went in here? So I got the pepper outside. With some jalapenos. And you harvested the leaves as yeah, well, leaves right? leaves in the backyard. From, from the pepper plant. Yeah. A lot of folks don't know, but you can eat the leaves of the pepper plant. I want to see the here. We got some okay. peppers there, yeah, whole peppers. Pepper. And I pick up in the backyard, Danny. So this one tastes good. And then what else? You put some chicken in there? Chicken. And you want to try it hard? The taste? Okay. Mmm, that's good. You can taste the ginger in there. It tastes very healthy. Yes. And I see you left bones in the chicken as well, huh? Yeah, so to taste it really good, you it's know. Some bone broth bone. going in there. And then over here we got some tofu. And then tofu. This is the dip dip. Karamansi. Oh yeah, let's show them what that is. Yeah, the one for the dip dip over here is a calamansi. You get this from the Asian market. It's calamansi liquid seasoning. It's like a, a calamansi, which is like a small lime. Uh, so it's like a flavored soy sauce. Really goes well with the tofu. And then put a little, little bit brown rice. Uh, brown sugar? Brown sugar. And then ready, ready to dip the I actually really like the taste of tofu. I'm not a big tofu eater. Being a man, I'm well aware of the estrogen mimickers that are in soy, but this is an organic tofu, so no worries about eating GMO soybean there. We do do white rice here as well. White rice can be easier to digest, so not a bad thing. It's ready. That looks amazing, honey. Thank you so much. Additional love. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Dip that tofu and the soy sauce there. Mm. Set up. Set up. Thank you, honey. Just something else I want to mention about this tenola. This is like an excellent version of chicken soup. The ginger, uh, the chicken with the bones in there, this would be excellent on a cold day or if you're developing a cold or the flu. And that's immediately what I think of when I try this. Mm. Well, lunch was delicious. We relaxed a bit after we ate. 
freshened up a bit. Now we're back out to the garden. We're gonna harvest uh, some figs, at least. Maybe some other things, but mainly we're coming out for some Peter's Honey Figs. Come join us. ta -da! This oh. is really big. That's look. not a fig. No, the Gucci berry. <laughs> goji, goji. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's go get some figs. I like figs. I like, I like it. All right, so the Peter's Honey Fig is one of the fruit trees back here that hasn't seen water in at least two months and it's showing uh, compared to previous years there was a lot more figs they were larger more plump but again i'm still impressed with what we do have growing here with the lack of water and um, i don't know if i was completely clear in the last video as to why these plants haven't seen enough water I did mention that I don't have an automatic watering system set up yet, but another part of this was that I just wanted to kind of test things out and see how much it could take and continue to produce. So this has been a good experiment. You should always experiment in the garden. Sweet. So Alice doesn't eat the skins. I eat the skins. Oh, you do eat the skin? I've seen you do it both ways. But first, and what I'm doing is, I am scraping in my teeth. <laughs> and then I don't want to waste, I yeah, eat it. There's nutrition in there. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, yeah. Go, uh, go ahead, I'll film you. See, remember last time you said if there yeah, is like... Yeah, look at that juice coming out. Let juice me get is a coming out in the butt. Yep. That is like sugary goodness. And this one and a little bit of coming fig out milk. in the mouth. Yeah. Hey, this is supposed to be a fig harvest video, not a fig tasting. Uh, I cannot resist. <laughs> We should go ahead and harvest. This one's not looking too good. Throw this over to the chickens. This is big. Oh, you're fast. Look how many you got already. Let me see. Nice. That would be more than you'd even get in a normal package at the store for like four or five bucks. But this one, I like it because it's so sweet. Yeah, when they're a little bit wrinkled. Mm. My co-worker asking me again when I'm gonna bring the figs. Yeah, everybody wants the figs. Most of these dry leaves are from the pole beans that were growing over here. Yeah, I think after we pull our harvest today, I'm going to go ahead and give this tree a good soaking. It could really use it. You can see like over here, this is the um, Florida King Peach. And that tree's still looking quite healthy, not showing too much sign of stress. We don't have to get every single ripe one today because there is more than I think the bowl's gonna hold. Do you think this one is enough for tonight? The one that we can eat? I think so. And then tomorrow I will harvest again. All right, so that's gonna do it for now on the fig harvest. So honey, let me ask you a question. Question. Yep. <laughs> what is your favorite 
thing about having a food forest in your backyard? My favorite thing in our food forest backyard that every time I'm gonna cook, I have to think about it. What can, what should, what can I do over here that I can harvest to cook for dinner or lunch for tonight? Something like that. I so, agree. Like today, I want to go out for lunch. Yeah, you and asked me. Let's let's yeah, go get some you. food, some Chinese. And yeah, because I you know sometimes I am in the mood for uh, going out on a date. Yeah. yeah, on a date, of course. Of course, yeah. I love date. Me too. <laughs> and then you said, you know, like what did you say, Danny? I said let's save some money. Yeah, you said let's save some money. Yeah. So quickly in my mind, I have to run in the backyard, and I walk around, and I said, what can I do? What can I cook for today? So I saw Opo, it's a big Opo. Which is the calabash yeah, gourd. Yeah, calabash gourd. And I said, oh, okay. I have to harvest that one and I have to cook. And I said, what is in, in the fridge? And I open it, it's a chicken. So I said, oh, I think I have to do some, uh, cook tinola. Tinola, uh, we always cook tinola in a, we always cook tinola in, what do you call it? I don't know. No, the other one. Papaya or... Or chayote. Chayote. And we don't have papaya over here and chayote. So, the alternative, the one I'm thinking is the opo. Because uh, last time I already cooked opo, you know, in the sardines. So now the alternative is opo. And then it turned good. It was really good. I had it's two delicious. servings. And then my mom said, wow, you got the taste. Yeah. And you too, honey. Yeah, I was well, impressed. It seems like every time you cook, it tastes better and better. I'm learning, honey. Because uh, I'd say you're beyond learning. You're just honing in. Because I remember my dad said, you know, uh, I, I remember how he cooked Portinola. So. And before you're asking like your mom or someone else for the recipe now, yeah. You cook without a book, which is our favorite thing to do, is to be more creative and make the recipe our own and, you know, substitute certain ingredients for others that we have growing. And it's, you know, that was a super healthy, you just felt good after eating the meal. And it's also just a good feeling knowing that you grew half the ingredients in the meal. So, yeah, there's a lot of benefits. So I agree with you. I love to cook without a book. <laughs> so with that guys we're gonna let you go now thanks again for tuning in hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and we'll be talking to you again soon take care Thank you.